What's going on YouTube? This is Big Varanis. So I'm gonna go over growth. I went over surface area versus volume. That's one of the most important things. So look at that previous video. It's like three minutes. I'm trying to keep the videos real short because I don't even wanna look at myself more than three minutes on a video. Now, that being said, I'm not gonna go over somatic growth. You can look that up, please do. Somatic growth patterns, there's a paper that, well, I'm gonna try to put the link down below if I can remember. Um, they did some research on about over 400 Komodo dragons. I'm using that because they researched that more as opposed to me talking about ornate monitors, which is what I own. If your environmental situation isn't correct, if the genetics are subpar, guess what? You're not gonna get this huge animal that you think you're gonna get because you went on YouTube or you went on Facebook or Instagram and saw by everybody else's animal. Premium diet, premium, premium environmental uh, situations are what support premium growth. Okay, but you're not gonna be able to beat genetics. Some animals just run small. And sometimes the smaller animals will give you the better clutch. They'll give you uh, the more uh, beneficial temperament. If you want something that's sluggish and lets you hug it. Okay, I don't particularly go for that to each his own. I want an animal that's being what it needs to be. It's close to the wild. So a lot of times my animals will be on edge depending on the situation. Now, when it comes to environmental, if the humidity isn't right, that means the animal's not digesting its food right, which means the nutrients aren't getting where they need to get in regards to growth. So the genetics don't matter at that point because you've already given it, it a losing battle. Okay, if the, if the basking temps are right, it's not digesting its food, guess what? nutrients aren't being uh, siphoned to the correct organs and the bones aren't being enriched the way they need to be for growth to be you know expanded to its optimal peak so when it comes down to it it really just depends on you you I've had animals that grow extremely slow but have the best pigment you know and I'd rather grow my animals out slow I think everybody else should grow their animals out slow responsible feed volumes meaning don't gorge your animals out. You know, I don't feed any animal more than the palm of my hand. My hands aren't exactly small, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, with my younger animals, any animal under 36 months, I feed half the size of my palm. Okay, feed frequency for my younger animals is a little higher because their growth is a little bit more aggressive. But I have animals that grow at different rates because genetically they're all different. Stop comparing animals to everyone else. Get your environment right, humidity, basking temps, ambient temps, size of enclosure, get all of that right. Because these animals live way beyond 40 years. You know what I mean? Some ball pythons live 40 years. You have tortoises that live 150 to 200. You, you know, some crocodilians 70 or more. You know, use your head, take responsibility for what you have, stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Your animal's gonna grow based off of you and what you provided. You can't beat genetics.